Hi, Lisa. How are you? Yeah, Baruch Hashem. Good, Gil. And yourself? Good, good, good. Okay. You wanted to ask some questions about the course, so I'm delighted to answer you Amazing. as best I can. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie. Um, how do you do a course on crystals? I don't understand. Can you please explain this to me? Okay. Terrific. Great question. Okay. So crystals, uh, first of all, what I discovered through the Zoom is that the energy of the crystals actually penetrate the screen. So therefore, this, um, you could do a course, you could learn about it, but you could also feel the energy. So what I do is, of course, all students have to have crystals. So I send out crystals to students in advance of the course. I send okay. out two of each crystal so that students are actually able to um, learn about a crystal and to use it as well. Because if I'm using a crystal, it might not be in my box and we want it in our box to be able to learn about it. So, but if somebody in a family chooses it or a patient, so they could use it, okay? So therefore, we're able to, I can tell students and I label the boxes and everything else. And I tell students, okay, we're going to talk about the amethyst, for example, this guy here. Okay. And what's that good for? That is good. I like to ask questions. <laughs> yeah, always out loud. Okay. The amethyst is a great stone. Let's just get it in focus here. Okay. It's it's, yeah. Of course, you're going to like it. Exactly, and yours and your hat because it's purple. And this is a very light purple one. Anyway, so the amethyst, for example, is a great stone to help relax us. It gives us tranquility. It gives us calm. Um, it's a stone of spirituality as well. Okay, you love that stone. So I'm going to guess that you're a spiritual type of person, Lisa. Okay, I mean, I know you. Okay. And I know you're a Dylan girl, so you are. Yes. Good, but that's so hang on. No, stop, stop, stop. So what do you do with them? You hold them, you put them under your pillow. What do you do with them? I, I don't okay. understand. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I get it that we don't understand because for me as well, before I studied crystals, I understood nothing about them. So I so understand when people don't understand, you know? Anyway, okay. so what do we do with crystals? There are a number of ways of using them. And I teach this in the course, but one of the ways is to hold crystals to have them on your desk, to put them in your body, to have them in your jewellery, lots of different ways, okay? Oops, I better put on my bracelet, my special bracelet here. Um, what so stones that? I've got Sorry, a few stones here. One of them is a black tourmaline. Anyway, so, um, and we can also, this is really cool. We could also put crystals into water, to a glass of water. The frequencies of the crystals got transferred to the water and then we drink the water. We look at all about all of these things and how it works and why it works, but they work. So it's it's easy to use crystals and they're so much fun to use, you know. Um, and how does it connect to Judaism? I'm... <laughs> okay, that's really important. First of all, for me, the first time I heard about crystals, really, many, many years ago, it was like, I think this isn't for me because I'm a religious woman and crystals and religious women don't go together. And I tell everybody I made a mistake. Crystals and religious women, and certainly this one, they go well together. First of all, we had the coin Gadol in the Beit HaMikdash, and he wore the Hoshen, and the Hoshen had 12 of their Hoshen on it. That's 12 crystals on it, 12 different ones. And then all of the commentators, or not all of them, a number of the commentators talk about this, like Rabino Bahaye, he was a Spanish commentator from the 1100s, and he talks about the qualities of the individual crystals in the breastplate, the Hoshen, worn by the high priest. So he's going to wow. say, he says things. He talks about this. I showed you before the amethyst. The amethyst is another name for the Achlama. The Achlama is the crystal, the stone of the tribe of Gad. And the and Rabbeinu Bahaye is going to tell us things about this crystal. Okay. But the Achlama is to get better, no? It's it's achlama with an Aleph. Uh Alice. Oh, oh Alice Alice or A at the beginning, okay? Uh, okay. So, so we, you know, it, it, it's there. It's just like for me, it was my lack of knowledge. So I'm thankful to be able to share this knowledge with people because it not only is it another form of healing, 
and a tool for healing emotionally, physically, spiritually, mentally, so many different things. Um, I feel it's also, it strengthens our faith in Hashem because we see another one of God's wonders. You know, I'm showing you another one. Um, oh, wow, that's beautiful. Right? What's that um, one called? This is called a citrine. A citrine is the Leshem, okay, which is also one of the tribes, okay? The Leshem is the tribe of Dun, and, and it's known to bring success. I mean... Rabbeinu Bahaye says it. And not only does he say it, but you go and have a look at different shops and you're going to see blocks of citrine in many shops because people who understand, who know about crystals, understand right. that this is going to help them improve their parnasa. So there are so many things in the crystals. It's such a broad world. And to bring, wow. to have this hut, the really to be able to bring these wonders to other people, to share it with everybody is, is really, I feel honoured, privileged. So how do you do it over Zoom? Can you? Uh, the course, you... the course yeah. is we sit, we sit in a course Okay, and we, like you and I are having a conversation now, we could be sitting in the same room or we could be as far away as we are at the moment, okay? And so I'm able to impart on to share information. I send people notes, okay? They get notes as well. They follow up. We move into breakout rooms and we work together. And it's unbelievable, yeah. you know? It's so exciting to be able to work with South Africa, to be able to work with um, America, to Australia, England. And America is a big country. So we could have people in Florida. And we could have people in Connecticut and New York and all over the place. It's like, it's wonderful. Wow, it's really wow. Lots of time zones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we haven't got Australia in yet because I can't work out how to fit Australia and America in together. You've got to get the crystals to Australia too in time. Uh, we could do it. We could do it. You know, that that's okay. going to be less of an issue, I think. <laughs> All right. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. Okay then. So how? what's the length of a, a course? How does it work? So okay. you, you said you send them out. You send them out to the people, and they've got their two, two, two of each stone. So they've exactly. got themselves, and if they want to be generous and lend out to someone, exactly. And then, so how how many meetings are in the course? So we have five meetings, each of them around two hours. Often we sort of go on a little bit longer because. I love to answer questions and people like once they start studying, they've got so much to ask and I, as much as I can, you know, um, but basically two hours, five weeks, five sessions, and then somebody has an understanding. And if you want to understand more, you want to go deeper, then we also, um, I do a second level, we're going to be starting a third level and then you get a like a, um, a diploma. Um, so it's really cool. It's really cool. It sounds so exciting. Wow. Yes. Um, I don't know if it's the time to ask you about your assessments as well. Um Okay, assessments. That well, that's what we learn. That's what we learn in the course, and that's why we've had so many different types of people. So I've had a pediatrician taking the course, and I've also had, for example, a a mum, just a, a mum and a safta, and a lot of people in the um um, in the world of uh, alternative medicine, homeopathy and stuff, come to do this course as well because it adds a tool because they are now able to understand better what's going on for their people. When somebody comes in and they choose this crystal or that crystal, they're going to understand today they're feeling down in the dumps. Okay, it's hard for them to express themselves properly. Um, they really need a lift. Or they need to be going out. They need to get out now. They, that, that's what they're really craving. They just get a greater understanding of what's going on. And not only that, I spoke to someone today, um, and she works in alternative medicine. She does reflexology, homeopathy, all sorts of different things. And she said to me, she said, you know, Gila, I couldn't not do this because I have to give stuff to my patients and they love it. You know, all of them, they come to me and that amethyst actually is great for migraines. And I just put it on for them up here. You put it here. If God yeah. knows, someone's got a migraine, you put it on here. You hold it on what's called the third eye there and it relieves headaches. It relieves migraines. She said, you know, I have to know this stuff as, as a working in the field it's like amazing so beats taking acamol let me tell you that's a much better idea i mean how long does it take for these it stones to is work? my acamol 
It's you feel. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. But, 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 what, is it immediate or how does it work? It, it I'll tell you for myself. I can tell you, for, okay. it, it, it does relieve. I know I was sitting in the middle of um, Ben Yehuda Street or not, wasn't Ben Yehuda. I was sitting in a cafe in Jerusalem out with somebody and sh I'm getting a migraine. I, I don't think I've had one since then. Baruch Hashem, Hodul Hashem. And it's like, I don't have Akamol or any other analgesic, any again, painkillers. So, but I do have amethyst with me. So I took it out and I just sat there and I pressed that stone in and I pressed it in and I pressed it in. And you know what? I felt so much better. And it didn't take long. It didn't take long. So it's pretty individual. Wow. But for me, it was amazing. It was really amazing. So that's, uh, yeah. Wow. Okay. That's fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. So yes. how many how many stones do people get? Do you send out the crystals? I send out about, I think there are 27. I keep on adding, changing a bit, you know, because I, I want to give more and give another one. And how can they not study this? But I, I think I've come to 27 times two, obviously, um, is what this, what they're getting at the moment. You know, it's so like it's, a first aid. It's like a first aid kit. Oh. It's more than that. What what come what they get is actually more than a first aid kit. It's well beyond. It's well beyond that. But within that, there's first aid kits for lots of different things. You know, bleeding, right. all sorts of things. Anyway, so that's that. Yeah, sounds fantastic. So when so when's the course starting? Ah, <laughs> we're starting, please God, on the 7th of February. Really, oh, round the corner. Wow, 7th of February, that's soon, darling. Oh, wow, 7th yeah, of February. Yeah, wow. right around the oh, corner. That's exciting. Wow, please what day on. is that? I'm just looking at my diary to see what Monday. day is. <laughs> it's Monday. It's on Monday. Yeah. Okay, dokey. Yeah, wow. Monday is at 8.30. What time? Eight, 8 o'clock, sorry. 8 o'clock Israel time, 1 o'clock Eastern Standard time, and... 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay. So how do people contact you to they want to come? Come to first of all, you anybody is welcome to um, send me a WhatsApp, send me a message. Come visit my website, gilaslonim.com, and there's a tab there, of courses, and it's all written there, all the details and the dates and the sign up and everything else. Okay. That's terrific. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right, well, good luck then. <laughs>